We're here today at an oil field operated by Berry Petroleum, who is the largest independent operator in California, and they produce heavy oil. And to get the oil out of the ground, they need steam. So where do you get the steam from? Well, historically, they'd get the steam by burning natural gas to uh, heat water to get steam to inject into the oil well. Uh, this system you can see behind me does exactly the same thing, only using sunshine. This oil field's 100 years old, and we're here in the town of McKittrick, which is a little wide spot in the road, and this is pretty much cutting edge technology for the world right here. So, so you know, this technology in a 100 year old oil field is, is going to revitalize this oil field. If we're going to produce the difficult barrels, and as we all know, that's, that's what's getting left now, we're going to have to do it much more economically and with less environmental impact. There are a number of benefits to using solar for enhanced oil recovery instead of burning natural gas. The first one is very straightforward, it costs less. Roughly 60% of the cost of operating a heavy oil field is natural gas purchase. This produces heat at half the price as burning natural gas. So you can see that the potential operating cost savings are, are very large. But perhaps a more fundamental point is that you can extract more oil from the ground using solar than you can with gas. The term proved reserves means the amount of oil you can economically extract from the reservoir. Not how much is down there, how much you can economically extract. So if you make it cheaper to extract the oil, you can extract more of it. It is tried and true. Nothing really is brand new. It's all stuff that we know works and it's put together in an innovative way, enabling Glass Point to provide steam and hot water to the thermal oil recovery industry and reduce consumption of natural gas. The huge mirrors, which are about 20 feet across, focus the sunlight onto a pipe. That pipe becomes extremely hot so when we put water in one end, it turns into steam that we can then inject into the oil wells. Now if you look at it, it's pretty simple technology. You know, I know, I know everything's not simple, but it's something that we can understand and if we had one, I think we could operate it. This is the first time that steam has been produced from solar at a cost which is less than the cost of steam produced by burning natural gas. We're interested in solar steam generation uh, because any new innovative technology that lowers our costs um, as we've been discussing, lowers the economic limit of the oil field, maximizes our, our oil reserves and our production. As we bridge this gap to the next phase of energy, you cannot punish one energy for the benefit of the other. But the only way we're able to get there is pretty much all the above. And today is showing the example of that. That you can have a next generation enhancing a current generation that you have to be able to supply more. Because we cannot bridge that gap overnight. For solar enhanced oil recovery, you're looking for locations which have heavy oil and good sunshine. Here in California, there's no shortage of gas. The motivation is one of uh, economics. Now in some other parts of the world, for example, most of the GCC, they just don't have the gas to generate the steam which they need to maintain their oil production. With the right conditions, certainly sun energy, sorry, steam from sun is definitely a viable alternative to natural gas when it's applied properly. We have a, a lot of potential to reduce usage of natural gas in, in making steam for EOR and that means that that gas can be freed for better usage like developing for example chemical, petrochemical industries or exporting as energy instead of burning it to make steam. Here in California uh, where we've been producing oil for over 100 years uh, many of the wells are not being produced anymore because they've extracted everything that can be produced that way. But the surprising thing is that more than half of the oil that was originally there is still down in the ground. In fact, there's more oil still under the ground in the United States than the entire proved reserve of Saudi Arabia. So there's an enormous resource there that we can tap into if only we had the technology. Now the things which are holding back the exploitation of that huge oil resource are that it's expensive, both in terms of money and environmental impact, to produce that oil today. The solar enhanced oil recovery lets you produce that heavy oil at a lower cost and with zero environmental impact.